back in the garage again. Um, last video, I was playing with this little engine that I got for uh, free. It came in a, in a leaf blower. I had to unstick the rain to get it running. We ran this thing on diesel fuel, and that was with a carburetor that I liked. It was actually a GoPed carburetor, a Walbro WT668. And now I got a, a just a cheap uh, weed eater brand carburetor on here. Um, goes to that small feather light weed eater. And it bolted up to this manifold, pulse hole and everything lined up just fine. Um, I actually, the nut that held everything together here, um, for me starting it so much that way, actually stripped out, flywheel came loose and I sheared the flywheel. Okay, that's all been fixed. These are all red Loctited on now. So now I did test it, it does run on gasoline. I wanna run this on nitromethanol now. And I wanna see what happens with basically, it's just aviation RC plane fuel, um, glow motors. I do know when you're running nitro, it's extremely corrosive. So I'm using a carburetor that I don't care about because I'm prepared for it to eat this carburetor and me just throw this whole thing in the trash. But let's get the uh, nitro fuel and see if we can get this thing started. All right, got the old gasoline cup out of the way. Got some nitro. I'm probably gonna put a few drops of two-stroke oil in this. Um, you know what? No, we're not. Because I believe this stuff has lubricant in it. Premium RC car fuel. This is Byron Fuels. Driver developed, race proven. So I'm not sure if that means anything special, but we'll put a little dribble in there. This shit's expensive. Hopefully it doesn't eat my cup. And hopefully I'm not wasting this. And uh, let's see how fast we kill this carburetor with it. All right, fuel line in, return line in. Oh, I picked it right up. Oh, wow, it already split the bubble. Split the, bla split the bladder right in half. Look at that. Destroyed it. That was quick. I don't think I need that bladder to run it though. I'll just try to choke up my finger and see what happens. Let me get you guys set up somewhere and yeah. See what we can do. Hopefully we don't kill too much. I was scared it was gonna blow up, then it started rubbing all on its own. We're pulling air somewhere, but man, that's a lot of fuel in there. It's almost like the more fuel it gets, the higher this thing wants to rev. And I have that the needle is pretty much all the way out at this point. So I guess we were just running it way, way, way too lean. I know with nitro, um, at least with nitro engines. They uh, take 300% more fuel than gasoline. So let's drive this back in and shut it off and run this thing dry again and see what we can do.
me fix the air leak and uh, we'll come right back. <laughs> Added a paper gasket. In the carbon manifold, it has an O-ring in there, but um, it clearly wasn't working. I don't know if the nitro is eating it. Um, it probably is. Let's see what happens again. It's probably the worst thing you can do with one of these cheap little drills is start motors with it. Oop, wrong way. Ha! Revs at a moon. Let's do it again. I was going to go to the moon and it started rocking.
thing's pulling. Keep pulling air out of my fuel fuel cup. I need the drill. The drill. All right. Don't try this at home, guys. Proven to be pretty stout at this point. <laughs> We've got some black crude oil coming out of the exhaust, and I'm pretty sure that this is just from the. Uh, oh, that's probably hot. I probably shouldn't touch that. Um, I need something to touch it with. This is probably just from when I ran it on diesel. So this is probably just what's left over in there. Gross. Move it on the floor. Okay, so nitro extremely unstable um with this thing i mean it's so loose that you can that now is just to get enough fuel in there for it to idle um because it's beyond crazy well i think what we should do is we should dump out this fuel cup and put some gasoline in it run on gasoline to protect get some good oil in there to protect the uh the engine and whatever's left of this carburetor um so we can run it with some more stuff but i think next video of this engine is going to be the 85. we'll see how many but if I, I i have two different types of two stroke oils here i have metal 800 which will not mix in nitromethanol surprisingly and then i have castor 927 which will mix in nitromethanol so out of the two oils one of those should probably mix into the e85 and then if whatever which, whichever oil mixes in the 85 we'll put that in there we'll do a I get a gallon of it, we'll just do uh, 32 to one, so four ounces per gallon, and then uh, run it and see what happens. It's, it's probably gonna eat a bunch of fuel because that's the Nature 85, I believe it's 65% more fuel than standard gasoline. That number could be wrong, don't quote me on that. But uh, I do not recommend running your two strokes on nitromethanol, especially your, your leaf blowers or weed whackers because uh, well, I don't know the RPM range of that flywheel, and we're probably upwards around 20,000 RPMs with this thing. Um, so, I mean, if this thing isn't rated for 20,000 RPMs, maybe you say it's rated for 15, 16,000 RPMs, and we do hit 20,000 RPMs, and that thing comes apart, it's just going to be shrapnel everywhere. It's just going to be extremely unsafe at that point, which is the reason why I was making sure to let out of the throttle um, at certain points, because there's points where I felt unsafe. I mean, you guys are behind the screen, so you guys are good. Me, not so much. <laughs> I got to go to work tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so that was pretty intense. A little recap, I guess. What did we learn? It eats primer bulbs. It's extremely unstable. It takes a lot of fuel just to idle. And I bet if we even added more fuel than what this carburetor could allow us, we could probably get even more power out of it. It ate my O-ring, developed an air leak. Um, we fixed the air leak. So yeah, nitromethanol is a wild type of fuel to have inside of a small bore two-stroke engine. There actually is another guy who's, who is doing an engine with nitromethanol and his channel is called Two Stroke Stuffing and he's actually working his way to build the fastest 50cc two-stroke engine. So, or the world's most powerful 50cc two-stroke engine. I'm, I mean, he's, he's got, he's, he's going pretty far and he's getting, getting really cool as far as making his own cylinders and stuff like that and cool piston design and yeah. So, all right, I'll see you guys next time.